China's newest aircraft carrier just took a giant leap forward. For the first time, Fujian's electromagnetic catapult system launched the advanced J-15T fighter jet at sea. This isn't a simulation, it's real, operational testing in action. In this video, we'll explore what this breakthrough means for China's future at sea, and why it signals a massive shift in global naval innovation. For years, China's and most advanced aircraft carrier, the Fujian, has been surrounded by anticipation and speculation. But now, that speculation is turning into confirmation. In July 2025, Chinese state broadcaster CCTV quietly aired a trailer that revealed a pivotal moment. The first real footage of the J-15T carrier-based fighter jet preparing for launch on the Fujin's electromagnetic catapult system. The clip showed the jet positioned at one of the catapult stations, followed by a command. Position 2, clear for takeoff. In a separate shot, the same aircraft was seen airborne, casting a clear shadow across the flight deck. This footage isn't just a media teaser. It confirms that aircraft integration tests on the Fujin are now being conducted at sea. That's a crucial distinction. While electromagnetic launch systems have been tested at land-based facilities in the past, performing these operations in open water introduces real-world challenges like deck motion, weather variations, and complex recovery procedures. According to military expert Fu Qianxiao, the fact that the aircraft appears airborne following the launch order is strong evidence that electromagnetic catapult operations are no longer experimental, they're functional. These visuals mark a significant step in the Fujin's evolution. Until this moment, most of what the public knew came from official photos, satellite images, and government statements. Now, there's visual confirmation that the ship has moved past basic sea trials and is testing one of its most complex onboard technologies, the electromagnetic launch and arresting systems. These are the systems that define a modern aircraft carrier's effectiveness. The Fujin began sea trials on May 1, 2024, and has since completed over 100 days of operations at sea. Each phase has tested different subsystems, from propulsion to radar and control systems, but integration with carrier-based aircraft is the most critical step toward full operational status. Notably, this test involved the J-15T, a modernized variant of China's existing shipborne fighter modified to handle electromagnetic catapults. At the core of Fujin's leap forward is its use of an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, a technology that dramatically changes how carrier-based aircraft are deployed. Unlike traditional steam catapults, which rely on bulky boilers and pressurized vapor, MALS uses a linear induction motor to create a magnetic field that smoothly accelerates an aircraft down the flight deck. This not only reduces mechanical stress, but also offers greater control and adaptability depending on the weight and type of aircraft being launched. The Fujin is the first Chinese aircraft carrier to use this system. With a full displacement exceeding 80,000 tons, it was launched on June 17, 2022, and began sea trials in May 2024. Its electromagnetic catapult and arresting gear make it capable of operating more diverse airframes than its predecessors, which relied on ski jump ramps. The MAL system opens the door to launching not just heavy fighters, but also medium-sized surveillance aircraft, early warning planes, and potentially unmanned aerial vehicles in the future. Key to this milestone is the J-15T, a specially modified version of China's J-15 fighter jet. The T designation refers to its catapult-compatible enhancements, including reinforced landing gear and avionics optimized for carrier-based operations. Unlike older J-15S that were designed for ramp takeoffs, the J-15T is built specifically to handle the high acceleration forces generated by MALS. This allows it to launch with more fuel and heavier payloads, which significantly extends its range and mission flexibility. This evolution puts China's carrier fleet into a new category. The J-15T and MALS pairing allows the Fujin to operate at a tempo and capability level more similar to the U.S. Navy's newest. China, in contrast, has managed to go from land-based testing to apparent successful sea-based operations in roughly half that time. What makes MALS even more notable is its energy efficiency and integration potential. 
Without needing steam boilers, the system paves the way for electric power optimization and, potentially, future nuclear-powered Chinese carriers. This is not just a short-term upgrade, it's part of a larger modernization roadmap. The successful operation of the J-15T aboard the Fujin validates both aircraft and ship technologies in unison. The timing of this test and its public release was anything but random. The footage emerged just days before the 98th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, offering a symbolic showcase of the country's expanding military capabilities. The same documentary trailer that revealed the J-15T test also included glimpses of robot dogs, stealth drones, hypersonic missiles like the DF-17, and a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine all presented to highlight the breadth of China's technological development. It served as both a technical milestone and a strategic message for domestic and international observers. The Fujin itself has undergone several rounds of testing since its first sea trial on May 1, 2024. Accumulating over 100 days at sea, the ship has now likely completed most of its essential hardware and software evaluations. Additional tests likely included sensor calibration, deck stability analysis, and launch synchronization. The remaining step, and perhaps the most critical, is full air wing integration, which now appears well underway. Experts believe that the Fujin could be officially commissioned into service before the end of 2025. If that timeline holds, it would mark a rapid progression from launch to deployment, an impressive feat for any Navy, especially one transitioning to cutting-edge technology like EMOLS. The compressed development cycle also reflects growing experience within China's carrier design and manufacturing ecosystem. Strategically, the Fujin changes China's naval posture. Fujin introduces a platform capable of higher frequency sorties, broader aircraft compatibility, and longer mission endurance. This aligns with China's goal of developing a blue water navy capable of operations beyond its coastal regions. It represents a shift from symbolic naval presence to sustained, high-functioning projection capability. The ship's technological maturity also enhances flexibility in aircraft development. It can host fixed-wing early warning aircraft, likely enhancing airborne surveillance capabilities. Shortly, unmanned aircraft could also be launched via EMULS, setting the stage for integrated manned-unmanned operations. This adaptability supports rapid platform evolution. The global impact is clear. While the U.S. remains the only nation with multiple operational supercarriers, China is quickly narrowing that gap. The Fujian brings a new level of sophistication that challenges traditional assumptions about naval capability timelines. It doesn't just signal progress, it changes expectations. The Fujian's integration of the J-15T fighter jet using electromagnetic launch at sea marks a major turning point in modern naval aviation. It proves that China's most advanced carrier is no longer in development. It's entering real-world readiness. This breakthrough combines cutting-edge launch technology, specialized aircraft design, and over 100 days of sea testing into a unified system ready for deployment. As we watch this transformation unfold, one thing is clear. The Fujin isn't just a ship, it's a statement. And it's reshaping what the future of aircraft carriers looks like. Stay tuned, because this is only the beginning. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.